welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. Is the 3000 really necessary? One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius. Answer yes. Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch. Checklist of one thing? It's a really short checklist. Jeez, why are you even have it then? Perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on. I want to get a photo for my scrap. Oops. Hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Why do you even have a don't obey oh, no, setting? No, 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 wait, wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No, no! Oh, my good China! What fine China? If he has any plates, it's probably bigger than he is. Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses! Yeah! Only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shall we? Where'd he get the shell? Where'd he get it? You just poof? It's not just any shell, it's my magic wishing shell. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing. Chair. When the robot just fall off? Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama, Alabala, Wisna, Tikitana, Fushbar, Griddle, Bits, Von, Vita, Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting. You remembered it now? Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I broke Why don't you just go to the store and buy more cookies? He fell asleep. There's a lot of time then. The next morning. Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with. Whoa! Uh, Gary, did you do that? And thus the game officially starts. Hey everybody, Yoshirock341 here, and we are yeah, going Gary, to go through sure Battle of Bikini Bottom. So I should talk over the voice of the narration. Pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Ow. Random signs! What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the sign? Ow. Oh, okay! Press this button to read the Press signs. this button to read the signs. <laughs> So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I love this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Explore the rest of Spongebob's house. Ah, Spongebob Squarepants. How did they get the... This is where I wrote this. It's really, really tall. I mean, look at that. Oh, yes. Breaking news! Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror. So much for fixing this quietly. Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble. Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. I love that narrator. Uh, that dude who does the narrator is the exact same dude who does Plankton's voice. And I love him. That's probably my favorite narrator in video games. 
Uh, this room, we skip the introduction of the shiny objects. Yes, they're literally called shiny objects. So you can collect shiny objects. I uh, goes red. Red is one, yellow is two, green is three, blue is five, and purple is... 30? 50? It's pretty up high up there. It's why I don't have all of them in one room, so I can show them off for you. Right? They don't, yeah, they don't, have, they don't have purple. So yeah, see, this is one. This is two. This is... This is five. Orange is five. Blue is... Ten. Then... Then purple must be like fifty. That makes sense. A note from Mr. Krabs. And it even smells sweaty. Just Wait, like how him. do you get inside the restaurant? Oh, Not a restaurant, inside the building. As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been er, promoted to head shiny object. Wow! A promotion. Very big air quotation marks around that. That's right, a promotion. So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. I just collect them all in the room, so I'm ahead of you. In this room, you can use the seasick to grow to the camera. It's actually really nice. It has a very good job. I do like this camera in this game. It's kind of some moments where it's a tad weird, but most moment, most times during the game, this camera will just be just fine. Just swing it around. It's a very nice camera. I like it. Uh, let's go to the 10 one first. Cost of 10 spits. Or shiny objects. Uh, now this is bedroom. Uh, these guys will come important later on. SpongeBob underwear. If you lose something, you get hit by robots. You have to get your underwear back. And if you see by just pressing Z, you can check all your stuff here. You're trying to bit socks. I'll get that back later in specialist. We'll also get to that later. Uh, A, you can double jump, as I've done all the whole of time. So. I didn't realize anything there. Noise. He can, he can also grab things like that, and that can get you the extra little bit of height that you need. Is there anything up here? Doesn't seem like it. 20 more? Back to 50 again. This is where I keep all my this. old comic books. Not more than just your old comic books. Uh, see how much stuff he is. Finally, underwear. Yep, you already told us that. These are all buttons. B, the normal spin. You can also use it to push walls. And, yeah. So basically, you can do it to this. Push, 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 push. You'll hear that quote a lot. Trust me. So you can do B to get these. You can also jump. You can also if you get combos, it's stuff in quick succession. And also, it does get you a little more, a little more um, bits. So, anyways, jump in the air, press X, you go down, and you kind of ground pound to sort of form. So you go, and then you can do Y to like a robot. Not robot, Viking head kind of thingamajig called the Bubble Bash. So, this one brings about a. Ah, there you go. And stop rolling! Stop rolling! Get back here. Get back here. I'm trying to get you to the top so I can get to the very top of the tower here. Like this. Can I go up here? Okay, I can do that. Anyways, now we want to push this thing over here. This is the first little secret to this game. So, we can push this over here. Press this button. Out pops the sock. Box pop those things. And they can get up to a sock. Okay, thank you. That's, we'll explain that later. I'll be back to read that. Jump up here. Jump up here. And walk all the way across these platforms before the time runs out. And you get your first sock. Uh, these socks become a little bit important when we talk to Patrick. Before he was, anyways, uh, when he's done, you press start. See, so then you get all your tasks here. You see, one out of eight, there's eight in the bikini bottom. So, there's, there's a lot of socks. There's one more thing to find this. Is this room now? It's a spatula! Uh, golden spatula, these are basically the stars or any kind of objectives that you have in all your standard adventure, standard adventure, running around, collect random stuff kind of games. There's a hundred in this game, so if we're one percent done with this game already. And each area there are eight, except for boss bosses. Best one, there's special ones. 
And that one. That one's, that one's two. So basically, you can do your math quickly. Yeah, I you know, some... same thing. You can also go up to the TV and watch it again. And we can finally get out of SpongeBob's house! And explore the world that we are living in. And see the desperate deeds that robots have done. Ah, uh, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. And also you get a nice commentary with the French Go narration. Away, SpongeBob, you're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. In your dreams, you'll get all those golden spatulas, it seems. Anyways, so you can collect all this stuff now here. Uh, see, these things are taxis. We need five small spatulas to get on there. We can only go to the um, jellyfish field for now. Uh, we'll get into that later. Uh, I can get these stuff, break this, I'll break these platforms over here, hey, SpongeBob. and we teleported somehow. Buddy! You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. See, this is what I like about THQ what they did in this game. They drop SpongeBob references. If you want, know the SpongeBob game, SpongeBob episodes, you know that's a reference to when P Patrick wanted to get a trophy and he wanted to go and get somewhere. He went to wanted to go to the ninth dimension to defeat the giant monkey man. You know that. You also know Bubble Buddy was made when SpongeBob didn't have anyone around. Also came from Leaf Erickson's instant day. I want to say that would be direct from later on. I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button, and you'll launch button. yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! So as you can see, you can do that here, or you can go, jump up here, jump up here, and collect this, and then destroy them all. So... Sometimes it's a little strategy there. And also you get a little more points for not being so dang rebellious. 15 points to go in there. And 10 points to go to the room. Sorry, points, spatulas. Not points, because shiny things like really have points. So, what are you going to do about it? And then one back here. And let's talk to Patrick first. Let's talk to Patrick and talk to learn about the socks. What saw? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. So, for second one of many, I already found, you've already found the one in his house. In your house. Sundra's house. Not technically yours. But if you want to go find a sock, we'll go ahead. And you get the couch here, and you get your third sock. Out of... I think there's eight, did I say? Yep, eight. And also... Not... And also... Play music. Nothing a little much there. There's a little bits and pieces here now. Don't think that's a reference to anything, it's just random music. I don't know. I could be wrong. Now, there's one more house in this block that we need to go to. But we probably should talk to someone else first. Mr. Krabs. He's standing over here. And that's weird. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking. For Pretty you. sure this is not the right voice actor for Mr. Krabs, but it, it kind of annoys me, but I'll let it go. <laughs> no more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm going to help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. 
I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny. I still don't get how we started collecting shiny, um, golden spatulas. You will. Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth. Why are they all laying around? Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects. Three thousand. It's a good chunk. Uh, these guys, they can't really don't hurt you, they're just there. So. There was one more thing before I head to this house. There's this button over here. Like all good buttons, you press it. So you shoot this up here. And voila, we gotta run quickly here. We got 40 seconds. Which actually is a really good time to do this. And I completely missed that button. And then we'll open a button that I will fly more to that side of the house. Jump up here. That was Patrick's house. Jump to this. Completely way until this comes across. Jump to the scrimmage head. Jump to the eyebrows. Pull yourself up to the top. Now I can wear more pairs of underwear. So basically, yeah, every gold golden underwear adds one to your health bar. Kind of like a heart container from Zelda. And then you can go over here to get your second golden spatula. It was nice. Let's go inside and annoy Squidward! Or, I mean... Have a friendly conversation with Squidward. Yeah, that's what I mean. First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game. Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. Ha, <laughs> ha, move to another town. Ha, I crack me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. So, jump around like an idiot. We jump and swing and jump and s destroy everything in your path. Yay! Yay! Okay, 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 just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you? See, Sorry. Squidward, I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Oh, <laughs> Down, touch me. And there you go, the third golden spatula in the game. So we're up to three, right? We're 3% done in the first video. And then quickly, if you want to get a sock, go up to this paper and draw a mustache. A sock will appear in the window somehow. Makes no sense, I know, but... Sense. You paid... Use them to pay money, so... Pay money? Use them as money. That's what sense. Anyways, now it's finally, as you can see here, every time you enter or arrive to the area, everything resets. So the sea keys are broken again. Anyways, now let's go to the jellyfish fields! Enter the first area of the game! Main area, at least.